Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. So this time I come with a new thing. Uh, yeah. Basically today I am going to show you how you can host your directory by using Node.js, Express.js and Server Index. I saved some of the libraries and I am going to tell you how you can do it. So um, before that let me explain what is in my screen so you can see here there is a link localhost 3000 i'm hosting some one folder uh you can see she's all sharing me and involved if you click there then we have some files here so i'm just hosting that file using my browser so this folder i can host to internet and anyone in any part of the world can access the directory till and unless my system is online or connected to internet basically that's it or even if you don't want to connect to the internet where you can use this is suppose you want to transfer some file to any device which is connected to internet and has a browser in it then you can simply do the file transfer no need to install any particular software this application only works uh, if you want to transfer a file from a personal computer to any device which supports browser so the server or the host uh, should be a computer why i'm saying this because in that computer the node here should be installed then only you can host it so uh the history behind this is like one day i was thinking to uh, download some of the movies in my hard disk to my phone so what i have to do is i have to search copy it in my computer then again computer to uh, my phone or suppose I want to share it to multiple devices at at same time so I thought like uh, can we use it not just to do save this so I, I do I did a little bit of research and I found these two packages one package is I know it express is just a, like a web server and the second package is just like uh, giving this interaction this kind of interaction like a UI you can see icons and all so yeah it helps like this so without any further delay let's begin the code we'll see you soon i have opened the server index package and the express js documentation uh we will use this and believe me the code is just like few lines of codes just few okay so here we can see we have express.js i hope you know about express.js if you don't then in brief i can say like the express.js is um, a package which helps us no package which helps us to serve the uh like it's like a web server in simple concept you can see like you are, we can use it like this so and the server index you can see serve package just contain directly uh, directory listening for a given path. This is a Node.js module available through the registry, and you can read it more about it here. So now let's start it. First, uh, we'll create a folder here. Uh, let's create a folder, new folder. We can write it file share. Okay. Now in here, let's open the Visual Studio code. Okay. Now open the terminal here. And PM. Okay. Two questions. So our package or JSON is ready. Now install npm i express.js. So meanwhile, it will install. We can install server index also, and the server index can be installed like this. Let's copy it from here. Let's paste it. Okay. 
okay so i guess uh we have both the packages here you can see in dependency express js and server index but i think i did some mistake let's see yeah i have to install express not the express js so npm install express js Express. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine now. So now we'll do something. Let's create a app.js. Our basic ports will be here only. Import the agent. Uh, Express. Yes. Okay, now I import the server index. So, I here we go. Now, constant app goes to the express. Uh, okay so uh, we have the right approaches now app dot listen let's define the port here we can write port constant port push to this is dot env dot co the code or we can write the environment code by all not available then define the location so location constant location it will be the path where uh we will serve our folder so uh, Let's import one more package in the Node.js package content path. Let's do it required. Path. Okay. Now, path.join underscore underscore type to name. Type to name this key, uh, will give us a parent directory where this actress is located and slash okay that's it we have the location now but we want to serve uh the parent of this parent directory so we'll write dot dot slash one directory above what we are going to do is suppose any folder we want to serve with we will import that folder and we will put this uh file share folder inside that folder so all the content of that folder will be uh, we can access. We'll uh, show you the example which is the code. So app rotation is ready. Now code. code. Then a function for that function. Sort of law we write we are going to file and port uh, is the port nice then we'll console the link where we can directly click in access no need to write it Local host. Oh. Sorry. Okay. So let's save this and 
let's run it let's see express is running or not okay let's go to this link okay it's showing us error because we did not send in app dot get like this and response response person i now we we'll just stop the server we started okay what's the wrong Cannot uh, okay. Let's go to the app and express it. See how everything is fine. I don't know. Stitch it. No problem. Let's copy it. What is wrong? I did not define this app or what? Okay, but okay, here is the issue. Uh, I should define it above. That's the problem. Let's go. Uh, problem solved. There we go. And let me press the page. We'll get hello world, but that's not our motive. We just expressed it with it. Now we will remove it. Now let's go to the server index documentation and see how we can serve it. So here we have uh, this using Express here. We can use the middleware because that server index will give us the middleware and that middleware um, we can use in app.use. So here we can use it. So app.use. Okay, it will we'll serve in the main home page. Then it's not static. Uh, okay, location which uh, static will be solved. Then the file, the file will take the path, which will say must be location. Okay, then an object we have options. Options we want to show the icons. So we can see how we can show the icons. Icons we can say tree. Okay, icons. So we go. Let's save it. Then let's cancel it. Clear it. Okay. This website again. Okay. There we go. You can see like our file share folder is showing. So basically, uh, our file share folder is in the home. You can see here it's in desktop. So whatever the files is in desktop, it will show us. So we have home. Yeah, maybe it's the file, but let download something for example. Image. Let's download this image. So we can just save in desktop. Save it. Then we refresh this page so we can see here. Yeah, you can see the image is there because in that store we have this image. So, guys, like whatever folder we want to share, just copy this file share. First, let's stop this server. Then 
go to this file here copy it and wherever whichever folder you want to serve you can serve this for example if you want to serve in any external hard disk just go and add uh, an external hard disk paste that folder go inside that file share start that app.js uh, .js then the file will be shared so thank you guys for watching this video i hope uh, it's worth watching you please hit the subscribe button and like the video and share with your friend if you like it okay so i will should i share the code also if you guys forget uh, i will share that too and you don't need any primary background also suppose you don't know about this whole thing what you have to do is just don't do anything just install a node.js then in your system and do thus what i showed in the video and that's it you can share share any location so in next video i will show you that how can you host this uh to the internet now this is only available to the local host or i can access to other phone by uh pinging the local host for example if we will i will write a ttp so that's 192 192.168 okay so it's by like basically the local host here at least you will ping then any phone which is connected to the wi-fi same wi-fi that there you can download it so i will show i hope so i can show you that but i don't have a screenshot of my phone but yeah you can do it also but in next video i will show you like how you can share it to the internet so it does not require anymore that you should connect it to the same file right and so you just need a link which you can share there you go you can directly access the file whoever has that so that's it for this video guys thank you very much have a good day bye bye